In this video, we're just going to talk about set builder notation. We're going to kind of unpack what the notation really means. You should know from your study of sets that the curly braces, left and right curly braces, contain a set of values. Also, sometimes in set builder notation we'll see uh, a funny shaped E and then this R with a double vertical line. This would mean that X is an element, E for element, of the set of real numbers. And that's what the, the, the bold face R with the double, double line in front of the R. X is an element of the set of real numbers, which means that X is just a real number. Um, since the vast majority of work that people do is in the real number system, then we can just assume that it's real. So instead of writing X as an element of the real number system, sometimes people just write X in set builder notation. Uh, the vertical bar uh, means a phrase such that. So let's see if we can pronounce this problem. Again, we have a set, element of a real number system, which means X is real, such that, and then this is just a simple uh, simple or compound inequality. So this is pronounced x is a real number or we want the set of all real numbers x such that x is greater than 5. Again, the set of all real numbers x such that x is greater than 5. And it just simply means that we want all the numbers bigger than 5. Here's another one. Let's see if you can pronounce this. The set of all values x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and x is less than 2. All right. And again, you can pronounce this several different ways. You can say negative 5 is less than or equal to x and x is less than 2. Um, but again, the set of all values x such that negative 5 is less than or equal to x and x is less than 2. 